Hey, welcome to my channel. Uh, we are going to look at the calculations in poverty, and the first one is called head count ratio. Head count ratio. So we are going to look at the question. The question says the table below summarizes average consumption expenditure of one subregion in Uganda over a year. Use the information to answer the questions that follow. So there is residence average average annual consumption for each individual in the residence it is in three zeros then uh, we we have for the urban area and then we have for the rural area and then we have the poverty line yeah and then they they, they want us to determine and interpret the head count poverty in both residences yes yeah, so here we, we are going to use the formula of head count ratio, but first of all, what we are supposed to know about this thing is, because head count ratio, we, we are supposed to de determine the percentage of people that live below the poverty line. So as we, we are considering, we are not going to consider individuals that earn income that is above the poverty line. So in urban area, this person that has 7,200 will not be considered. And the person who has 4,680 will also not be considered. So anyone who earns either equal or above to the or above the poverty line is not considered when we are calculating the head count ratio because we are considering people that live below the poverty line. So if it is equal to the poverty line amount or if it is above, it is not considered. In the urban area, we shall also not consider the marked numbers 5,760 and 6,480 because they are above the poverty line. Our poverty line is 4,680. So they are not going to be considered. Th th those two, they're, going, they're, they're not going to be considered when we are calculating our head count ratio. So head count ratio, it measures the percentage of people that live below the poverty line. Yes, yeah, so and the, and the formula for calculating head count ratio, it is 1 out of N summation of P minus Y out of P power 0 times 100. Whereby uh, N is a number of individuals, then uh, P is the poverty line. Then Y is the individual income, yeah, and then times 100. That is the formula for calculating head count ratio. Then we are me measuring the number of people that live below the poverty line. So any individual that earns either equal or above to the poverty line, we do not consider them when we are calculating head count ratio. In our question, they asked us to determine and interpret the head count ratio in both residencies so here we are going to first start with the urban area so the first thing we do is to state the formula head count ratio equals one out of n summation p minus y out of p power zero yeah times a hundred the next thing we do is to substitute n and we said one out of n n we, we said is the number of individuals and they gave us the income for six individuals so 1 out of 6. Then we continue substituting in. We say the P is the poverty line. And the poverty line was 4,680. Then minus the income. The income of the first individual that is below the poverty line is 3,600. Then out of the poverty line, which is 4,680. Yeah, do not forget the power 0. Then after you do the same thing for the other three people that are living below the poverty line, and the two, we do not con consider them because they are living above the poverty line. The person with 7,200 in the question, eh? and the person with 4,680. If someone is earning either above or equal to the poverty line, we do not consider them when we are calculating. We only consider those that are living below the poverty line. And since every bracket has power zero, 
any number to power 0 is 1. Yeah, so in the first bracket we shall get 1, even the second bracket 1, the third one 1, even the fourth one 1. Yeah, so we shall get 1, 1, 1. So we add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 4. So we, we come here down and we say 1 out of 6 times 4 then times 100. And our head count ratio in uh, the urban area is 66.7%. So out of 100, 66.7 in the urban area live below the poverty line. Then we do the same thing for the rural area. Yeah, we get our formula and then we substitute in. We use the figures of all those individuals that are earning below the poverty line. So here in, in, in the rural area, we also have two people that are earning above the poverty line. We have the one of 500, of, of the, the one of 5,760, 5, then the one of 6,480. So we do not consider those, but we consider the rest. Yeah, now in every bracket, since every bracket is to power zero, we shall get one one in every bracket. Once we add those one ones, we get, we get four. So the head count ratio will be one out of six times four times a hundred. Since it is a ratio, it has to be in percentage. Yeah, so head count ratio is 66.7%. Uh, and the interpre interpretation is out of the hundred people that live in in the rural area, 66.7 live below the poverty line.